testimony of the sister, our mama there, that said from the elderly, that said that she was praying with us during the time when I said, take the shovel of faith. Hallelujah. And her life changed. And I want to tell you, every power that holds captives, what belongs to that family, had let go. He said there was something like an earthquake. It was like a thunder. People of God, this is what I'm talking about. You see, I anointed. I anointed it every day. Praise the Lord. You know what I'm holding in my hand? That is what I call the shovel of faith. The shovel of faith. You know what this thing stands for? People of God, they use this to destroy a lot of destinies. They use this to bury a lot of destinies. Many destinies are in the cage. Many destinies are in the grave. Many destinies are in the pit. Many destinies are in trouble because of this. Because of this. Tell you, ask your neighbor, is your destiny been buried? Or has your destiny been buried? The prophet, my prophet, will dig it out for you. And you should also dig it out for yourself. You should shovel it out with a shovel of faith. Hallelujah. People of God, when I use this, I know. Listen, let me tell you something. I have a great message for you today, but in brief, because this is for tomorrow, 21st day. Before we go into our fasting, we have to use our shovel of faith. That's why I anointed it for 21st day of the month. Praise the Lord. I anointed it. Look at it back and forth. It's well anointed, well salted, well watered. When the blood is there, so when I see the blood, I pass by. People of God, huh, I want to tell you, the enemy that are after your life, hmm, they are in trouble. Those that have buried their destiny, they are in trouble. Tell you about those who bury my destiny, they are in trouble. <laughs> Tell your other neighbor, say, those who are digging your grave, those who dug a grave for you, they are in trouble. Tell your other neighbor, those who dig a pit for you, they are in trouble. People of God, this is dangerous. I want to tell you this. Do you know that you cannot dig a grave without this? From Genesis. You use this to dig a grave. You cannot dig a grave with ordinary hand. You need a shovel. So I need you need faith to shovel yourself out of what they have done for you. You need faith to take yourself. Because listen, look at what they do. They dig, they carry it up, and they turn it upside down. You see that? They dig, they lift it up. And they turn it upside down. Many lives have been turned upside down. Many destinies have been turned upside down. Many careers have been turned upside down. Many marriages have been turned upside down. Look at your neighbor again. Don't stay away. Don't look at your neighbor. Try to see whether he's among those people. Their destinies have been turned upside down. By the familiar spirit. By ancestral powers. By witches and wizards. You know... The young man that testified that he used to have a headache. Headache, 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 headache. You know, when I look at it, when I look at him, I shake my head. I say, ah, you know, this young man, they already put him in a pit. And I saw how they put him in a pit. I shake my head. I say, not him. Because the son, his son loved me so much. Oh, Sean, he loved me. Always daddy, 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 daddy. I say, how can this boy not have daddy? Not have have his father in the grave. You know, people of God, this world is dangerous. This world is dangerous. Every minute headache. He would sit up headache. He lie down headache. He wake up headache. <laughs> I shake my head. And to the extent that he received a message from his family to say they saw him buried, that is dead. <laughs> then he called and said, hey, daddy, <laughs> I have no life anymore. I said, relax. I know what they have done. It was after that, the father said, "You, where is the shovel? Shovel their life out of the grave. 
shoving his life out of the grave. And not only him, I began to look at the people and see how the devil have turned people's life upside down. And destiny is upside down. Marriage is upside down. Careers upside down. Children upside down. Nations upside down. The glory be to the Father for divine revelation. When divine revelation comes, it does not come alone. It comes with a wonderful power of deliverance. Hallelujah. He comes with a great deliverance. He does not come alone. He comes with great deliverance. Tell your neighbor, you need great deliverance. People of God, I want to encourage you. Call your members. Call your brothers and sisters over the world. Tell them to join the prayer. Tell them to join the prayer. I want you to stand on your feet and begin to come. Bend down your head. Don't look at anyone. Come, stand on your feet and say, Lord, show me where my destinies are buried. Don't look nobody. Don't look nobody and put on the cross for you. Jump on your feet and say, Father, show me how my life was turned upside down. Dead. Do not talk to nobody. All eyes closed. Show me, Lord. Show me, Master. Show me. Show me. I am tired. I am tired. Show me where they have done it. How they have done it. My master, my father, show me. Show me, oh Lord. Show me. Show me where they buried my destiny. Show me. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. Don't look at nobody. Don't look at no one. The master is here. The I am that I am is here. Show me, Lord. All eyes closed. Something is going to happen. I am holding the shovel of faith for you. All eyes closed. You have business with the master. You go into the spirit. Show me, Lord. Show me, Master. My Father. My Father. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The Father is on the throne. He's on the throne. Show me, Lord. Show me, Lord. Show me, Lord. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The master is on the throne. The master is on the throne. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Move, Holy Ghost, to their villages, to their town, to their houses. Leave them, leave them, leave them. Face their own business. Face their business. Something's happening. Something's happening. Leave them, leave them, leave them, leave them, leave them. Show me, Lord. Show me, Lord. Show me, Lord. I'm tired. Destiny buried. Career be destroyed. Health destroyed. Finance is stolen. Show me, Lord. Yes. Die. Just mark those that are falling. Mark them. Just mark them. Don't touch them, but mark them. Mark them. Mark them. Mark them. Oh, shall mark them. Yes, something is happening. They're going to the realm of the spirit. Die. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. All eyes closed. The Lord will show you. Where they buried your marriage. They buried their destiny. Under the sea. In the grave. On the mountain. Oh Lord. In the valley. Simbopine. Oh. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank 
you, Father. I lift the shovel of faith up. I lift it up. I lift it up. I lift it up. Wherever they turn your life upside down. And they show you. Your healer. Your healer. Your healer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I repent them. Show me, Lord. We are your children. These are yours. These are yours, Lord. These are yours. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your oh, eyes closed. Don't look at nobody. Pray. Pray yourself out. Because you are coming out of that place. In that grave, in ocean. From that mountain. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. All eyes closed. Something is happening. Something is happening. On God. On God. Show me that power that turned my life upside down. Show me that grave. Show me that idol. That ancestral powers. Those witches and wizards that have turned my life upside down. Show me where they are. Show me, Lord. That grave. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Something is happening. Something is happening. They turn your life upside down. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, your feet. Your feet. You cannot stand before the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Fire on the whole floor. The whole ground. Holy Ghost. Yes. 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 You a strong man. You a strong man. Holding my people. Sitting on their career. Sitting on their marriage. Sitting on their finances. Sitting on their destiny, sitting on their children, your time is up. Don't show me. Thank you, Lord. 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 Jesus Christ, mighty day we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now look around, look around, look around, look around, look around. Open your eyes. All eyes open. All eyes open. Gather those people outside. Bring them outside. Now you can bring them outside. All of them, bring them outside. Let them. Let one of them open eyes and tell us what, what he saw. Yes. Yes. Bring them out. supposed to be the king of the Zulus. Listen here. Bring them out. Hey. She's praying for the souls to be delivered. Oh, imagine. The sacrifices. Ay, Holy God. The blood that was shed. Ay, Ay, Thank you, Father. She will never, never. Thank you, Lord. She's not supposed to be where she is. Thank you, Lord. Ay, this is a Thank you, Lord. Oh. Ay, Ay. In Jesus Christ. Mighty man, we pray. Leave her. Leave them. Leave them. You're back on the floor. Your time is over. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. One, two, in Jesus Christ, mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. It's over. It's over. It's over. In Jesus Christ, mighty man. Can I hear you say amen? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. 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 People of God, listen and listen well. <laughs>
Today is a dangerous day. This man, you know, when we talk about possessing your possession, the enemy doesn't want to hear prosperity. And that is why you have to always stand firm to speak the word of God at all times. Carry the word of God at all times. Now, show me all those people that are on the floor. I want to see them one by one. Hallelujah. Today, their life will change. I just want one of them, hallelujah, to tell us what he saw when we said, close your eyes and let the Lord show you. Who among them want to say what he saw? I want three of them to say what they saw, yes? What did you see? Pick one. Lift your hand up and tell us what you saw. Tell us what you saw. This is not bread and butter. This is real. Bring them out. Yes? What did you see? Wearing a white dress and you. Did you what? She saw herself wearing a white dress. A wedding dress. A wedding dress. Yes. And the prophet. You saw yourself wearing a wedding dress. It's white wedding <laughs> Means dress. Yes, yes, yes. You are going to wear a wedding dress. They do not want you to, wedding, to wear a wedding dress. They took your wedding dress and turned it upside down. And they buried it at the backyard. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> at the backyard. <laughs> and when you wear the wedding dress, <laughs> when you wear the wedding dress, <laughs> leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. I put that wedding dress on her physically in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Yes, get another one, get another one, get another one, get another one. I'm still holding the shovel affair. Yes, what do you see? I see, I saw myself as a little girl being put inside a cage at the bottom of the ocean. And been changed. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? She saw herself as a little girl being put inside the ocean in a cage. In a cage. <laughs> and chains my daughter, chains from, my listen, and... from now, you are out of cage. You know what happened? They dedicate you to water spirit. And when they dedicate her to water spirit, and as she grew, they took her to a kingdom to a place where they worship the water spirit. If this sister should open her mouth and say a word, every one of you will be afraid of the world. We live. This one. It's not a story of today. I have to be physically there for her to open her mouth and tell you. Yourself, you'll be terrified where you are. Even if you're watching through the movie, through the Rafa TV, through YouTube, through, YouTube, through uh, Facebook, through Zoom, you are going to shake when she talk. <laughs> But let us pull her from that cage. One, two. Now you come out of the cage. I pull you out. I pull you out of that water. Yes, I'm drawing her out. Yes, I draw you. Come out. Come. Follow me. Yes. Follow me now. Move. Move. Move me. Move me. Move me. Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah. Now she's out. She's free. Her marriage will be sweet. Everything will be sweet. Everything will be sweet. Praise the Lord. Everything about her will be sweet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Then the next one, the next one, the next one. Because I said three people are going to speak. And the rest will write down everything they see. Everything they see, they will write down. Yes? Tell us. What do you see? Uh, prophet, I saw some of my belongings being buried, but it was as if it was something that happened a long time ago. Uh, but it was in a dark place. I saw some of my belongings being buried, but not only my belongings, also my mother's belongings. I think our, our underwears were being buried. That's what I saw. Okay, it was, let's it, see. It was in a, in a, that is true. That is true. You are a star, but everything about you, your family, everyone's destiny was buried. You are a very big star. You are a very big child of God. You are destined to be someone known, but they buried all those things. And listen, now I hold the shovel of faith. I put on the ground. I dig it. I locate where they buried no, it. No, 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 Thank no, no. Just kill it. Lord. Lord. And I lift it up. I lift it up. I lift it up. No, 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 
I lift it up. It's on the side of the ocean. I lift it up. I lift it up. I lift it up. And I throw you out. I release them. I release them. I release them. I release you. I release your mother. I release your sister. I release your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I lift it. This girl is going to save everyone. I lift it up. I lift it up. Thank you, Lord. 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 And I return them back to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Now receive it. No, 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 no. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Everyone say amen. It is done. It is done. It is done. Never again will they bury it. It is over. I've released it to you. I've released it to your mother. I've released it to your sisters. I've released it to your children. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I hear everyone say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It is done. It is done. It is done. Glory. Glory, 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 glory. It is done. People of God. People of God. Destinies have been uncaged. Careers have been uncaged. Marriages have been uncaged. Children have been uncaged. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is a deep secret of the kingdom of God. People of God, many lives are in trouble because they take the shovel, they dig their life and bury. They dig careers and bury. They dig marriages, they bury marriages, they bury wedding, they bury destiny, they bury billionaires and kings and queens are buried. If you look at the story that the, 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 the evangelist was trying to narrate to us during the message. He said, and the father and the, the, the father and the grandfather died the same day. And while they were running away with the child, he was crippled. Can you imagine? Until king, the, king, the king come and say, where is that boy? Where is, who is remaining there? People of God, this is divine deliverance. And you have been located today in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been located today. Amen. Praise the Lord. You had the testimony of the sister. The roof had to collapse. The roof had to collapse. But for the fact that God is involved, the father is involved, no one was injured. Not even the child there, not the, anyone was injured. Praise the Lord. You had the testimony of the sister that left Botswana to go to America to work. Can I tell you, people of God, you see that sister testimony, she didn't say nothing to you. <laughs> I also could not look at her photo. She was already gone out north. She was finished. She was finished. I had to do extraordinary thing for that sister to be restored. She was finished. And the two sons are in trouble. One of the sons is an American soldier. He got involved and the son was supposed to be a big person. Because he did not pay alimony, they put him in prison. It's a big testimony. That woman, that sister has gone through challenges. And they tie her down. She's been living in America. She's, the son is 40-something years. Can you imagine that? And the, the woman does not have American citizenship. She's still a permanent resident. And she overqualified maybe about 40 years ago. 50, 40-something years ago. If you see what the enemy have done to that sister, but glory be to God, she's free today in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's why I tell her, go and testify. The other son, problem. I wouldn't say it, but she was going to come back to testify. She would be there. She would testify. She didn't say anything. You did not hear nothing from that, that sister. She's a great woman. You didn't hear nothing from her. You didn't hear nothing. Praise the Lord. So people of God, the world is wicked. But anyway, 
Today is a day of recovery. Recovering everything they stole from us. Recovering your possession, your career, your future, your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what? I lift up the shovel for those powers that are still standing. And I break their feet. Beep, beep, beep. Finish. They will never use the feet of my people anymore. Amen. <laughs> they will never use their feet anymore. Watch them on the ground. They will never use their feet anymore. Amen. That power that you're using them, going up and down, doing all nonsense, is over. So people of God, listen. This power night is a night we're going to use. No power can use your feet again. No power can bury what belongs to you. No one, no witch, no wizard can do it. But the word of God has spoken. Anywhere they buried it, you are, be you are belonging in your village, in your kindred, in your mother's side, your father's side. Anywhere they buried it, it is over. Today, <laughs> something has happened. In the name of Jesus Christ. What, what is that one saying? What did you say? It's mine. She is mine. Okay. Okay, listen. Let me show you people something. You know, I'm here. Let me take the shovel of faith. Look, let me shovel her out. Let me bring out that spiritual, that ancestral powers and spiritual husband. I signed to trouble her. Look, I am going to dig the ground. Look me. I am going to dig and I'm going to bring it out. And I'll turn that power outside her and watch what is going to happen to her. One. Two, three, look at me. Pop! On the floor. Now I lift that power up. I lift it and I turn the power upside down. Hey. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She's that power, that spirit, that ancestral power has been turned upside down. No Whatever they have done to her, no I have, re have revised it. No I have revised it. No and I place it on the ground. In the name of Jesus Christ. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> In Jesus Christ's mighty for name. What? Marriage for what? Marriage for what? Kids for what? For what? I put this on the floor. In the name of there Jesus Christ. No marriage. No kids. For what? I'm a big man. How big are you? How big are you? Okay, walk like a big man. Live her, live her, walk like a big man. Walk like a big man. Continue to walk. Walk. I want to see you walk. Big man. Live her, live her, walk like a big man. Because they're walking out of our life today. Walk like a big man. Seven steps. Count for her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay! Thank you, Lord. You have walked out of our life. Never again. The big man. You have gone to the grave where you belong. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I hear everyone say amen? It's over. It's over. And a clap for Master over. Jesus. Put it's over. For Master Jesus. People of God, this is real. Wickedness is real, but more real is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Distance is not a barrier. Tell your neighbor, distance is not a barrier. We pity those who are saying, oh, prophet of travel, prophet is this. You know, this is how the devil deceived the people of God. You tell them, no, don't go there. There's no, no, nobody will help you. They will take them to a wrong place, take them to where they will catch them the more. But today, by divine revelation, you are all set free. Many people want to return back to God, but shame will not allow them. Today, I've delivered them all. Today, I've delivered them all. Your young girl, what happened to you? Take all of them, let them write down, let them write down, let them write down. 
Let us write it down. Let us write it down because I don't want to take us too long. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Young girl, what happened to you? I just find myself walking like a man. Oh, you just find yourself walking like a man. What do you see? What did you see? I didn't see anything profit, but I was feeling very hot. You are feeling very hot because they closed their eyes. They didn't want you to see them. I didn't see anything profit. Okay, now I open your eyes. You come back on Sunday and tell us everything you see. Make sure you write them down because we don't have time. We don't have time. I have opened her eyes. From now she'll begin to see all the evil they have done against her. From now she'll begin to see all the evil one by one. Where they buried her marriage, where they buried her certificate, where they have buried her children, where they buried everything. She will see them. And not just see. People of God, I want to tell you. You know, not just see. I'm not talking about just see. When you see them, they are destroyed. It's a divine revelation. Deep things belongs to God. And he made them known to his prophet. I've seen a lot. People are suffering. Destinies are caged. This young girl is supposed to be great. They bury her destiny. They bury everything. As intelligent she is. Everything God. But today, my God have restored her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So you are going to write down everything you see. You write them down. You come on Sunday and tell us. Okay? You're going to write them down. You come on Sunday and tell us. Because I've opened your eyes. Okay? Amen, prophet. Can we Praise the Lord. For Master Jesus. People of God, 